Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and now we're going to discuss PLC command for data processing. Okay, let's start. PLC data commands are commands that deals with data manipulation such as computing, transferring and comparing, etc. Okay, let's discuss about data transfer. We have move command. Move command copy the value of the source and put the value to the destination. Take note that some PLC like Schneider is not using move as symbol. Some of them is using colon equal, equal, or the whole word move. And this is the symbol for this command. Okay, let's have our example here. As you can see on our example, if x0 is energized, this value will be moved to d0. And the k here means constant. And if x1 is energized, 10 will be moved to d0. Next, we have the addition. Get the sum of two numbers and put the result to the destination. And this will be the symbol for addition. Okay, let's have our example. If x0 here is energized, the value of d0 will be added to d1 and the result will be moved to d2. Okay, on this table, d0 is 25 and d1 is 5 and d2 will become 30 and we have 5 here then 1 result is 6 we have 10 50 the result is 60 we have 2 5 the result is 7 and that's how the addition command works next we have subtraction Get the difference of two numbers and put the result to the destination. Okay, this will be the symbol for this command. Let's go to our example. As you can see here, if x0 is energized, the value of d0 will be subtracted to d1 and the result will be moved to d2. You need to be careful in using this command because unlike the addition, the value of d0 and d1 can be interchanged. But here, you cannot interchange the values. As you can see here, we have 25 and 5, the result is 20. We have 5 and 1, the result is 4. We have 10 and 50. The result is negative 40. We have 2 and 5. The result is negative 3. Okay, that's how the subtraction works. Next is we have the multiplication. It gets the product of two numbers and put the result to the destination. And this will be the symbol for this command. Let's have our example. As you can see here, if x0 is energized, the product of d0 and d1 will be moved to d2. And as you can see here on our table, if the value of d0 is 25 and d1 is 5, we have 125 at d2. Then here we have 5 and 1. We have 5 here. Then we have 10 and 50, we have 500 here, and 2 and 5, we have 7 here, and that's how multiplication works. Next, we have division. Get the quotient of two numbers and put the result to the destination. 
and this will be the symbol for this command let's have our example if x0 is energized here d0 will be divided to d1 and the result will move to d2 and take note here like the subtraction you cannot interchange d0 and d1 because you will get different values unlike in addition and multiplication now let's refer to our table we have 25 here and we have 5 here we have a result of 5 we have 5 and 1 we have 5 we have 10 and 50 we have 0 we have 2 and 5 we have 0 why the value of d2 here is 0 this should be 0 0.2 and this one must be 0 0.4 Take note that uh, if the data is declared as integer, the decimal will automatically removed. And on our example right now, the value of d0 and d1 is integer. Okay. Now, we have 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 here. And if the data is declared as float, the decimal is included. And now, as you can see, to get this value, you need to declare the data as float to get the decimal values. Okay, let's move to our next command. Okay, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Please like our Facebook page and click see first to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please put a comment nice below. We have the comparison. We have equal. It gives the value true or on if the value of data 1 and data 2 are the same. And take note, some programmers are confused about the command equal and double equal equal is used for transferring a data while double equal is used for comparing a data and we have a note here comparison command is like a discrete command this is the symbol for this command okay let's have our example Okay, here we have this command equal equal k3 d0. This command means if 3 is equal to d0, then the value here is true. And y0 will turn on. Now, let's look at this table. d0 is 4. It is not equal to 3. That's why y0 is off. 3 is equal to 3. That's why y0 is on. And if d0 is 2, y0 is off. And if d0 is 1, y0 is off. Okay, let's have our next command. Less than gives the value true or on if the value of data 1 is smaller than data 2. Okay, this will be the symbol for this command. This command means if 3 is less than d0. Now, let's refer to this table. Is 3 is less than 4? Yes. That's why y0 is on. Now, is 3 is less than 3? No. That's why y0 is off. Is 3 less than 2? No. That's why it's off. Is 3 less than 1? 
no that's why y0 is off okay let's go to our next example greater than gives the value true or on if the value of data 1 is larger than data 2 okay this will be the symbol for this uh, command okay now this command means if 3 is greater than the 0 and if you look at this table 3 is not greater than 4 that's why y0 is off 3 is not greater than 3 that's why y0 is off 3 is greater than 2 that's why y0 is on 3 is greater than 1 that's why y0 is on next we have less than or equal give the value true or on if the value of data 1 is smaller or equal to data 2 this will be the symbol for this command this command means 3 is less than or equal to d0 and if you look at this table if d0 is 4 y0 is on if d0 is 3 y0 is on if d0 is 2 y0 is off and if d0 is 1 y0 is off okay let's go to our next example greater than or equal gives the value true or on if the value of data 1 is larger or equal to data 2 okay this will be the symbol for this command now this command means if 3 is greater than or equal to the 0 and as you can see on this table when d0 is 4 y0 is off if d0 is 3 y0 is on if d0 is 2 y0 is on if d0 is 1 y0 is on and that's how this command works next we have the command not equal gives the value true or on if the value of data 1 and data 2 are not equal note some plc is not using this symbol some of them are using the symbol okay we have this symbol for this uh, command and now this command means if 3 is not equal to d0 and as you can see on this table if d0 is 4 y0 is on because d0 is not equal to 3 and if d0 is 3 y0 is off and here if d0 is equivalent to 2 or it is equivalent to 1 y0 will turn on now let's discuss a beginner's error here destination must not be constant and let's take note that data memory can be changed while the program is running on the other hand constant value cannot be changed while the program is running as you can see here a source can be a data memory or a constant value and here the destination must be a data memory these are the examples of data memory we have d0 this is for omron and delta mw0 this is for schneider and the uh, siemens iw qw for siemens and schneider we have k4 for delta we have ampersand 10 for omron hashtag 3 for omron 4.5 for siemens hashtag 1c for omron these are samples of constant here the two input can only be 
data memory or constant but the destination must be a data memory if the x0 is energized constant 50 will be moved to constant 10 and and as we said while ago constant value cannot be changed while the program is running that's why this command is invalid and that's all for today thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell to notify you for new video please like and share my youtube videos and like my facebook page please click see first on our facebook page to notify you for new posts if you like this video please comment nice please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video and if you think that this video needs some improvement just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video I will use all of your comment negative comment suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again see you next time